Hey there, this is Asnan from Training Codes and I'm back with a new video. In this video, we're gonna create a simple splash screen and we are not going to use a Cordova plugin to integrate a splash screen into your Ionic 3 app. Now, I'm doing this video is because uh, I got a request from one of my subscribers that is um, Muhammad Junaid and he told me to give us some link that he can make a simple splash screen with a text and an image now uh, in this video i'm going to show you how to create that kind of splash screen inside your ionic 3 app i told you we are not going to use ionic 3 Cordova plugin okay we are going to manually implement a splash screen so that you can uh, keep your ideas inside that and you can design your own splash screen into your ionic 3 application so basically what we're going to do over here is uh, we are going to create uh, one text and we are going to set one SVG file. So uh, I'll just show you how exactly it works and let's get started. So um, first of all you should take care of a few things because we are not going to use the Cordova plugin over here. So you should uh, turn off the splash screen which is given default which is given by uh, default by the Ionic 3 app. So you should go ahead and open your config.xml file and if you have not downloaded, uh, uh, I mean if you have downloaded your project for the first time, you will not find config.xml file. To get a config.xml file, you should download the Android uh, or and you should add the Android platform into your Ionic 3 project, okay? You should go ahead and type the command uh, Cordova Ionic add platform Android so it will just add this uh, Android platform and it will just give you a config.xml file now once you get the config.xml file you should go ahead and take care of a couple of things the first is the preference name you should find this tag into your config.xml file and you should go ahead and check the preference name a splash screen value equals to none or false anything whatever you like it it is same okay so uh, basically it will be having true value or um, it will be having something screen uh, it will be written over here as a screen but you should go ahead and set it false or none okay to turn off your uh, ionic code of splash screen now uh, once you are done with that uh, we are going to uh, implement or we are going to create a splash screen by default uh, manually okay so um, what we're going to do is first we are going to design our uh, splash screen so uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, type the splash screen uh, right with the help of um, uh, creating a few or a couple of tags now you should make sure you're not going to use anything over here okay um, uh, uh, I'm not going to use the ion contain over here and I'm going I have removed the ion header part too okay now uh, I'm going to create one division okay and in the division we will be having some class and the class is um, um, class equals to I'm sorry a class equals to ID um, or a class equals to overlay so uh, we have created one division with the class overlay now inside the overlay we're going to create one class one more class that is um, class um, I guess class inner cool and inside the class inner we are going to uh, integrate our uh, image so image will be having um, uh, a data from my asset icon uh, no uh, I, uh, images and from there I'm going to use the bar or SVG so I'm going to go ahead and type assets Asset slash ings slash bar dot svg. Now, if you want this svg image, you can get it from the description below. Okay, I'll be paste. I have just copy and pasted the svg code over there. You 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 have to just go ahead and create one svg file into your um into your Visual Studio Code or into your editor paste that particular code and it will be running into your browser okay and I have just shown you how to create SVG animations in my previous video you can click up on the card on the right hand side up uh, and you can just watch that how exactly it works and how to create SVG images into your Ionic 2 or Ionic 3 app 
Now I will just type uh, training codes over here. So this is exactly what I'm uh, making as per uh, the uh, sus subscriber request, and that is uh, MD Junaid. So um, we are done with our HTML part. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to um, we're going to make some division, or we are going to uh, implement our divisions into your uh, home.scss file. So uh, first of all, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove this, and inside that uh, we're gonna write some code for uh, stylings of our HTMLs. Okay. So first of all, we're going to type overlay. We're going to style our overlay and overlay is something kind of position fixed because it should not it should it should not move anywhere it should be fixed okay and uh, top should be zero um, I guess everything should be zero uh, top left uh, not left or spacing it's left left zero okay and in the same way uh, right uh, zero and um, the another thing is top left right and one more thing that should you take care of is bottom so all of them are zero so it is fixed now uh, you should take care of the set index because it is our splash screen and it should be on the topmost position at any case okay so you should give some value to the z index something like this okay thousand and which should be hundred percent obviously so uh, it will take full width of our screen and we're gonna set the background color okay and our background color will be something like hash um, 002 uh, 83 okay now uh, once we are done with this, um, we're gonna create or we're gonna design our um, something next class that is our inner class. Okay, so we'll just design our inner class right away. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give the background color to my uh, inner, and inside the inner, I'm gonna change the background color. Um, my background color will be like something three. Um, EBFFB EBFFB cool and something goes wrong 3EB 3EBFFB yeah that's cool now um, I'm gonna go ahead and set the height and fit at the 100 person so height will be 100 person width will be 100 person okay and um, I'm going to set some animations but before that I'm going to make it display as flex okay and now one more thing I'm going to do is uh, align the items to the center okay so it will look better so display flex and the align items should be center so uh, it will be it will be looking perfectly in the middle and justify context justify context um, I mean justify content in it should be center too okay cool um, so uh, as you remember we have created one image we have uh, integrated one image uh, that is inside the inner class so we'll just go ahead and implement the image like how it's looking how it's look how what it what should be the height and width for that what is the position for that okay so we should go ahead and design the image which is inside the inner class okay so the height will be something 170 pixels to make it more better okay and the width should be something um, 170 pixels too so it will be perfectly squared and in the same way we are going to set the positions um, of our um, that should be absolute of our image so it can be uh, set it on the text and the margin uh, should be um, margin top should be something minus 50 percent okay so it will be in the top positions okay now we we'll just go ahead and save that now um, uh, I guess if you remember that 
now there is some problem into our image class obviously if we have not given the source <laughs> that is a biggest mistake we have to see how we have written the code it should be src i'm sorry for that it's really bad okay um so we'll just go ahead and check whether it's working or not perfectly it's working now but it's not looking uh great we should take care of h1 tag too because um uh, we should we should make it perfectly um, beautiful so I just I will just go ahead and take care of H1 okay and the phone family okay phone family um, I'm going to use the Apple system family so the font will be more better okay and um, the font or the font size should be something like uh, 3em let's check how it looks now um the color obviously it should be white because white is kind of professional color okay and it's not fit it's white oh, okay okay so uh the color should be white and the phone weight uh, should be something like uh, 200 so it will be more better 200 okay now we'll just go ahead and uh, take a look on how exactly it looks like and now uh, we'll make a changes uh, if, if it is uh, if it is not looking perfect so uh, for now I think it's it's looking perfect right but the problem is uh, when you when you open up your app okay uh, the splash screen should be should be displayed for some seconds okay it should not be constant like this over here it is constant okay so uh, to make that possible uh, we should use the set timeout function of our JavaScript into the TS file okay now um, I have just told you how to implement this kind of SVGs okay in my previous video now if you want how if you want to know how to implement this SVG uh, you should just go ahead and uh, copy and paste that code if you want and if you want to really learn that how to create those kind of SVG you should you should just go back to my one video back and we should just you just uh, go and you just take a look how is how it exactly works okay and in this thing what I have done over here is uh, I have just created the three rectangles okay which are having a different class right over here and I have created the animate and I have just uh, I have just targeted the height uh, of my uh, rectangles so it will be like attribute name equals to height so it will target the height I have just given that my attribute type is XML okay and in one second the value of my height should be changed to 30 130 so in one second it will take height as 30 and in one second it will change the height to uh, 100 so it will be like uh, grows bigger small small bigger small small bigger small so that's what it works in and uh, I, uh, SVG animations so uh, that's what I have done over here and I have just set these begins to 0.1 seconds and 0.3 seconds so they are not running at the same time they are not increasing or growing at the same time they are increasing one by one so that's what begins do into your SVG code okay so that's what how SVG we can implement I have just told you if you want to learn you can go one video back and learn that and if you don't want to if you are in hurry to implement SV, uh, um, I mean a splash screen then you should take a copy and just paste the code if you like this animation and you can implement that okay so that's what uh, uh, all about by creating an SVG and that's what I was creating all about a splash screen but a splash screen should not remain constant onto your screen right it should be something like four seconds and then it should be not displayed so to do that what we're going to do is uh, we are going to do something like um, we are going to implement the set timeout function which is present uh, which is which is present inside of our uh, which is which is inbuilt uh, inside of our uh, JavaScript so I'll just go ahead and open the home.ts file and uh, as you can see over here I have just implemented right over here so you're going to take one variable that is of type boolean so uh, splash equals to true now when the ion view is loaded 
our set timer function will be triggered and it will be it will be setting our our splash to false okay first of all in the starting it is a true state but when after after the four seconds it will be set it to the false state so that's what timeout uh, set timeout function will do it will just get triggered when our ionic view is loaded it will wait for the four seconds and then the code which is written inside the handler of set timeout will be triggered after the four seconds exactly completed so it will be setting our splash from true to false so our screen will be hidden okay and it will be no more visible but exactly how we are going to implement that into the .html file okay so what we're going to do is we're going to use the angular uh, angular styles okay angular styles and what we're going to do over here is inside our div of overlay we are going to use the angular style that is style okay dot display so we'll be, we will be switching our uh, our splash okay so equals to if our splash is true then it should be it should be having display flex okay so uh, uh, we should take care of the uh, spelling over here so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste the same spelling over here so okay our splash should be uh, if it is true then it should be displayed as a flex okay so I'm gonna go ahead and write the flex over here and now and if it is if it is false then obviously it, sh it should not display it should be it, it should be none okay so display should be none so exactly uh, uh, it goes to work now that whenever display whenever splash is true then our display value is going to get or the display property is going to get a flex and if our uh, if, if, if our uh, splash is false then obviously it's not going to display anything so just go ahead and save that just go ahead and home dot, uh, save the home.ts file and let's take a look uh, it works or not okay so um, we got an uh, error it says um, set attribute on element set dot display is a not valid attribute name uh, style of display is a not valid attribute name so let's check what's wrong uh, style dot display style dot have we have we done mistake in uh, writing a spelling style dot display oh yes uh, it should be over over here I'm sorry for that it should be over over here and it should not be so just go ahead and save that so uh, basically we are using the uh, angular styles over here now uh, just go ahead and refresh your page and take a look uh, it's working or not so one two three four correct so exactly uh, it's working and what you can do over here is uh, now once your splash screen is disabled okay you can just use some code like over here uh, is response dot I mean uh, you can just redirect to some some another page to your second page exactly what you want to do okay so once our set timeout function is complete uh, complete completed uh, then it will be redirected to some other page okay so uh, uh, that's what uh, we can uh, do or that's what we can uh, make a splash screen uh, customly okay or if you want you can use your own or the code of a uh, splash screen which is inbuilt splash screen it comes inbuilt okay so that's what all about this splash screen i hope you like this video don't forget to uh, hit that like button if you gain some knowledge and don't forget to subscribe my channel because i'm going to get i'm going to give you more knowledge about the ionic stuff and i hope i can share more knowledge about the bootstraps and all other design stuff okay so uh, i'll be i'll be working on that and i'll be sharing more knowledge on ionic and on other design stuff so uh, uh, keep supporting me don't forget to subscribe my channel and i'll see you in my next video take care